Stalking your mom, stalk, stalk, stalking your, stalking your mom, stalk, stalking your mom, stalking your mom. Before we continue, I want to give a shout out to SETI Media for creating that intro for me. And I didn't even ask him to do so. He created it in this new series where he just surprises YouTubers with these intros that are really clean and kind of close to their style. This ain't no sponsorship. This is just a genuine thank you from one nigga to another. Really do appreciate it, man. I wanted to talk to you guys about Pokemon Sun and Moon because there's a lot of niggas getting real happy right now. And the obvious reason is the leaks. The main concern right now for a lot of YouTubers and other people that are kind of have their eye on the scene a bit more closely is when these games are going to be available to play because we see the 18th on the cover but the actual truth may be a little bit different from that. Now, I addressed this briefly in my last video, where I mentioned that the game is now available for preload. So that means you can buy it, download all of the data, and since it's such a massive game, this is probably the better option if you want to go digital. Over three gigs big, nigga, that's a huge fucking file size for a 3DS title. Hackers were trying to get their way inside of the data to be able to play the game early, but Sun and Moon had a bunch of precautions on it. So many security features that were pretty much unprecedented, but then again, this is an unprecedented than a title. The most pre-ordered game in Nintendo history, point blank period. Sun and Moon is not looking like it's only going to be just the best Pokemon game. I think, that, I think that's a fucking given at this point, but it's looking like it's going to be one of the greatest games ever made in history, period. No bullshit. I think it's going to be that way. I mean, if you got the most pre-orders in Nintendo history, what is that? Like, even my girlfriend's GameStop in, in Flatbush in Brooklyn, has more fucking pre-orders for Sun and Moon than it did for Call of Duty. Isn't that crazy? Over 200 pre-orders in that kind of an area for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Not trying to say that niggas don't like Pokemon, but let's just say that that's never happened before. With all this hype building up, Masuda had to ensure that when the preload comes out, nobody's gonna be able to crack that bitch. And he was pretty much successful. The preload had three forms of security on it. Two of them were broken within the first hour of that thing coming out. And then the last form is basically if you want to boil it down, a 128 character password, which would basically take any random number generator about the end of time to be able to guess all of those numbers correctly. And I don't even know if it's just numbers. If letters are mixed in there too, then it's fucking impossible. If you can't guess a 128 character password, you won't be able to play the Sun and Moon preload data early. So that basically means that in terms of leaks, that way is gone. It's X'd out. Now, before we continue, a lot of people are probably going to hit me up saying, Etika, man, why are you trying to promote leaks or kind of be happy that it's leaking in the first place shouldn't you hope for a worldwide release like everyone is of course i am but the thing that you have to take into account is that i am a youtuber at the end of the day and plus not just being a youtuber i mean i was a fucking fanatic way before doing youtube videos so if the game comes out early not to say that i wouldn't be sad for the pokemon company but i'm not gonna miss out on it man i want to be able to engage it as well too i don't want to be on the out crowd i want to be on the bleeding edge and i know there's a lot of you guys that agree with me on that perspective otherwise Let's look at it real. I mean, you wouldn't really be here. But yo, I'm just saying to you dudes right now, if the shit doesn't come out early or leak, then yay. But if it does, I'm going to be on top of it as well. And I think that's the perspective a lot of us have to take because, you know, we want to make sure that our moral compass is correct, but we don't want to be out of the loop if something wild happens. I mean, come on, let's be real, man. How many of you guys looked at the leaks? I didn't cover them. I, I think I might cover them in the future, but... You, you know a lot of you dudes did take a look at them, maybe some of you unwillingly. Thankfully, it seems like this time around a lot of YouTubers didn't put them in the fucking thumbnail in the title. We kind of caught into that bullshit real quick, so props to those guys. If the game can't be hacked by the preload data, then what's the only other way? Well, my friends, that's pretty damn simple. The hard copy of the game. Now, a lot of stores, what they'll do is hold on to the games for maybe like a week ahead of time before actually selling them to the public, so they keep the street date clean. Some stores, maybe smaller mom and pop shops, have a tendency to give the game out early, depending on you know certain deals in the background or other reasons, and therefore someone could have the actual physical game in their hands like a significant amount of time before it comes out on the 18th. Now, if this is able to make a leak worldwide so that everyone can play it early, all depends on who gets their hands on the game. I want to take a trip back down memory lane. We're going to go time capsule status in here to 2013, where niggas was waiting for that Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> holiday season of that year. X and Y was just about to come out. The first Pokemon game to have a worldwide release at the same time. It was exciting for everyone. 
until someone got their hands on the game early. Some dude by the name of Costa Din managed to snag himself an early copy by using a deal with a mom and pop shop. It's a little bit tricky to cover this with you guys because there aren't that many pictures left from back then, mostly because Nintendo wiped it all clean. When this guy was posting his early access footage, a lot of people were losing their shit, but at the same time, Nintendo was watching extremely closely. At some point, his account completely got taken down, and then it got put back up and pictures removed from it. But apparently Nintendo flew a representative down to where he lived, not only came after him, but came after the store that he got his copy from, and then threatened to sue him and the store and make it so that they would never be able to sell any games ever again. The lawsuit was huge, and at some point on his Instagram account, when all the pictures were deleted, he posted a new one, and it was called Got Nintendoed. Kind of fucking crazy when you think about it, man. They flew a ninja down to wherever the fuck that boy was. A lot of people were speculating, where the hell does this guy live? Maybe it was Canada, maybe it was somewhere in Russia. It's a little unknown right now. But that nigga learned a lesson that day. If you're gonna be posting shit up, you need to make sure that you either are protected by a VPN or don't post anything. So if you're wondering what the chances are that something like this could happen again, I'm gonna inform you pretty fucking high. With the attention that Sun and Moon is getting, which definitely overrides the amount that X and Y got, you can best believe guaranteed on your nutsack someone's gonna get their hands on this game way earlier than they should. So the question once again, who will get their hands on it and then if they do what will they do? Now the person who got their leak back in 2013, Cots the Din, he did not- oh shit. Jesus Christ, kitty cat, what the hell was that? The guy who got the <laughs> the guy who got the leak way back in the day, he wasn't someone who was privy to the hacking scene, so he didn't dump the game. Or maybe he knew about it, but he just didn't want to. If someone manages to get their hands on the physical game now in 2016 holiday season that does know their thing about hacking and dumping the game, they could get their hands on it maybe a week early, just like in 2013, then dump the game online, and then everyone will have access to it. But at this point, that's the only way that this thing can happen. The chances are relatively high that someone's going to get their hands on the game early. But are the chances of that person being able to dump the game online high? It really does depend. At this point now, am I really hoping and praying and wishing that this thing does get leaked early? As a fanboy, yes. As a professional, no. But if it does happen, I gotta deal with reality just like everyone else. I'll be careful in the way that I post about it, of course, and I won't be spoiling anybody needlessly in the thumbnail or the title, but I will be covering this shit. Don't know if I'll be streaming it, but I'm definitely gonna be playing it, man. Look out for hardware copies of the game that are leaked out early. A lot of mom and pop shops are gonna do so. Just watch your ass. If you're making such a dangerous move, you need to make sure that you take the precautions to protect yourself because if you don't, a lot like a lot of these leakers that are have um that, that talk to insiders like Emily Rogers and stuff, do you know the layers of security that they shroud themselves under to ensure that their identities don't get revealed? Well, for all we know, it could be a nigga like in the executive chair at Nintendo that's leaking stuff out to these individuals that are reporting on stuff. We don't know, we'll probably never know. But if you're gonna do something stupid like that, make sure you protect yourself. Although, at the same time, I do really hope that this game does come out globally for everyone, but it already leaked anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Either way, this is a video to update you guys on what the status is of that. I know I covered it already, but I felt like it deserved its own video. At this point now, I say expect to see something crazy happen within the next five days to a week. Shit is going to get crazy at that point, but I will talk to you guys later on. Sun and Moon is hype, Silvati, all day, every day. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.